Uh, one of them is the, well, actually they are all related um, because really the new type of assignment you are doing this week is the essay assignment. And that essay assignment involves uh, two other <laughs> assignments. So really the new assignment that you haven't seen before, before week two, is the essay assignment for chapter two. And um, this is what it looks like. And um, the submission, I hope it's kind of uh, clear. You've already done a uh, canvas. So right now I'm not in test to student mode, so you don't see it. But for you, there should be a submit assignment button right here on the top right corner. You click on that and this will let you either do a text entry or unload a file. And as you do that, you answer these questions. Read the instructions carefully. Here I am asking you to answer two of the four questions. Um, you know, don't do more work than you have to. Um, uh, but these instructions sometimes changes from assignment to assignment. So please uh, read it carefully and um, so, you know, uh, please read it carefully and uh, answer the ones you <laughs> needed to. Um, uh, so the essay assignment itself is um, reasonably self-explanatory, I think. It's not super complicated. But uh, there are two things I'm doing in connection with the essay assignment that takes a little bit of explaining, a little bit of um, uh, a little bit of becoming familiar with advanced features of Canvas. One of them will involve peer review, and um, I want to actually click on this because it shows everyone's name, and I was realizing reviewing last semester's uh, video that. I don't want uh, students' names to end up in an <laughs> actual recording that I can't post it on YouTube. Anyway, so, so um, this peer review staff, for me, this shows who's assigned to what peer review. And these peer reviews get assigned anonymously. I can show you the assignment setting. So the assignment setting for this essay assignment is set up so that, uh, so these are the assignment types it will allow, and it's something that requires peer review. Once the assignment becomes due this Friday, it will automatically assign three peer reviews per user. This is uh, for only for those people who submitted their essay assignment on time by tomorrow midnight. Um, yeah, um, if you didn't, then each time someone submits something late, I get a notification and I will have to manually assign the peer reviews. And I usually do that within 24 hours. And this is why, what I was here in the setting for peer reviews appear anonymously. So as you look at the peer review, I think it says uh, the links say anonymous user. So unless the student who submitted the work put their name in the submission, which I don't recommend that you do, but unless someone did that, you will just see anonymous user. You won't see people's names. And this is so that um, I want you to encourage um, honest feedback and also, um, you know, I don't want you to be overly generous just because you see your friend's name or something. Um, so, so it's anonymously reviewed. So really what it's most valuable is your uh, honest feedback. And there will be some resources that will help you do peer review. So uh, because this is a physics class and there are um, uh, so all these questions, there's a right answer in mind. Uh, sometimes I look at the peer review and someone says, oh, I agree with this answer. And my first response is, um, I hope uh, by agree, you mean you recognize the answer as correct because um, it doesn't really mean much if uh, two people who are both confused agree with each other. <laughs> so uh, there's uh, some uh, assistance provided in doing the peer review. And that is actually posted as an assignment itself. And you are going to see that at the beginning of next week. It is due on Monday. And I put it here uh, as part of week three. And there's a note for your first peer review. And um, this peer grading assignment, I won't click on this right now because if I do, it's going to preserve for the recording what the model answer for those questions are. Um, but you have this assignment item, which will tell you, okay, this is what I was, where I say, this is what I'm hoping to see in a good answer. And you can kind of uh, use that to see, check your understanding of the questions first. And once you feel like you understand it, then you can grade your peers. Three of them that are assigned to you, follow the rubric, 
some of the rubrics are just completely objective. If they answer the question at all, even if it's uh, like a completely nonsense, weird answer, they answered it, then they answered it. There uh, are some points that are for correctness of the answer. That's where you do, uh, rely on having seen the model answer here. So, so that's peer review. That's the, I guess, a second type of assignment that you will see this week or leading up to Friday. And there's one more type of assignment that uh, you're going to see only once. It's this honor code pledge. 